With construction at Kathleen Valley now at an advanced stage, we're now focusing on getting all those things ready for being in production. The plant at Kathleen Valley has been planned in a very thought out way to make sure that it's optimised for both operations and maintenance. Liontown started recruiting the operations team well ahead of commissioning. That's why I, as General Manager of Operations, have already started. In the lead up to commissioning, the team are developing all of the processes and systems that we'll need to operate the plant. And as we enter the commissioning phase, I'll be moving to site. The last few months have seen a lot of activity on site. We'll be ready for commissioning in the new year, and I'm really looking forward to taking the team to start production in mid-2024. The team has been busy over the past couple of months. The underground team have been involved with Burncut to prepare for the mobilisation which commenced in October. Right now we're in the process of commencing development, the six portals in the Mount Man pit to begin uh, underground declining. Uh, looking forward to uh, bringing the next five portals uh, online uh, swiftly in order to progress the development rates and, um, and get going with the underground mining. With development commencing in mid-November, we're exactly where we said we would be uh, and on track to deliver on the schedules that we've committed to. I'm standing on the mill deck where we've recently completed the mechanical installation of the SAG mill, which represents a huge accomplishment for the team. The installation of the mill will drive the schedule critical path, and that's because the mill is the longest lead time equipment item that we have on the project, and it's also the most complicated to install. But we've completed the installation earlier this month, which is about six months ahead of when we're scheduled to begin commissioning of the plant. Across the rest of the process plant, we already have all of the major equipment items here on site. We've already installed both of the crushers and the magnetic separators are being installed behind me as we speak. And we've also already landed the majority of the flotation cells. And by Christmas, we're on track to have the majority of the structural steel installed, the majority of the conveyors and the majority of the key equipment items already landed in place. And that will allow us to focus on piping and electrical come the new year and puts us strongly on track to be fully commissioned by the middle of next year. Works at the solar farm have progressed really well over the last month. They've deployed all 342 Maverick units. The civil works have been recently completed as well uh, and ready for installation of the inverter frames and the transformers and ring main units. At the wind farm, we've finished the backfill of the foundations recently and now we're starting to receive deliveries of the wind turbine tower sections, hubs and nacelles. As the solar farm and wind farm have progressed, we've also taken huge leaps at the power station as well. So uh, installation of the LNG bullets and the associated equipment, the installation of the HV and LV switch rooms, and also the fit out of the engine hall, which includes the Yenbacker gensets. The overhead power line infrastructure has progressed really well over the last month. Basically over 90% of poles have been stood on site and a conductor string has also commenced. Uh, that will tie in with the wind farm, the solar farm and obviously back down to the power station. We're really excited because in the last few weeks uh, there's been a lot of development going on with the new admin building. Where we came from before we were in a tiny little sea container in a camp. And then we've moved into our temporary office, which is here on site. It'll be really great to be in our permanent facilities uh, ahead of the permanent production staff that will be on site next year. Since the beginning of the year, we've been focusing on developing our business readiness plan. The business readiness plan details out all the work we need to do across all areas of the company, from processing to maintenance to HR to technology, and list out what needs to get done by when, by who, to be ready to operate. From day one, Lytown has never been about just building a project, it's been about building a world-class company. The focus of our work for the last three months or so has been really defining our workforce plan so that we know exactly how many resources we need, when we need them and where we need them and we have been sourcing, selecting and onboarding the highest volumes of new people that we have so far. We've had a really incredible response to our recruitment campaigns. We've been able to identify a lot of high calibre talent and we are well ahead of the plan as far as resourcing our team uh, well ahead of time. It is clear that there is a lot of interest and a lot of excitement about working for Liontown. 
Over the past three months, we have uh, put a lot of thought and effort into um, planning to de-risk the project. At present, we've got a dedicated team of maintenance planners or master data specialists. They're currently cataloguing a lot of spares for us. We're quite advanced in that spare sort of cataloguing process in terms of critical spares, uh, commissioning spares and operational spares. Uh, we already have critical spares on site, including a complete drive train for the sag mill, which includes a sag mill motor, pinion, gearbox, bearings and a spare sag girth gear. The reason being is obviously extended downtime, we reduce that downtime. Uh, we understand maintenance needs to be done on the plant and it's about having those spares on hand to perform the maintenance when required. We'll be well on board and well ahead uh, of the curve to uh, commence operation in mid-2024. In the last few months, we've put a lot of work into ensuring we have all our safe work procedures, our isolation and permit to work system, and a lot of work's gone into our training system. So right from the start, we're investing in people to make sure that they're trained and able to work through all areas of the plant. And this will give us a head start for commissioning when everyone's on site uh, six months ahead of time.